Hi guys, and welcome back to 101 with Frank Pinson. We have the head of the ship right here, the captain, Coach Tyler Watkins. How, How are you, man? Saying? Doing okay? Yeah, doing great. Thank great. you for coming on the show. So um, let's get right into this. Where is it that you coach, and what is it that you coach? Uh, I'm the head boys basketball coach at uh, Christian Heritage School here in Dalton. Can you tell us about how it is you found the love of basketball? How did you get into it? Man, I've always had a really huge passion for sports. and you know, I've always baseball, basketball growing up, played some football. Uh, I was always around a, you know, any type of ball. So um, basketball really picked up for me in middle school. I had a, I had a coach that kind of said, hey, man, you, you, know, you can take this to the next level if you choose to. And mm -hmm. that's where it all really started for me. Started for you. And then um, I think I see you have a, a great relationship with the basketball gurus here, yeah. the Plavics. Can you talk about that relationship? Yeah, I mean, actually, that coach was Guy Plavik and, mm -hmm. and, and on an AAU team. And I've always, I'm at the same age as Adam Plavik. He's my best friend. And mm -hmm. um, so he's the one that really, Coach Plavik was the one that really kind of pulled me aside and said, man, you can play college basketball from, if you want. And, and from that moment on, that changed my life. I, I wanted to, to get my school paid for, and mm -hmm. I was on a mission, and it, it didn't stop. Um, and then I got the chance to, to, to work out with Adam, but also Brennan Plavik. You know, yeah. he was kind of mm -hmm. my hero. I looked up to him and, and, uh, and got, got the opportunity. He just took me under his wing and, and, yeah. and, and let me work out with him. Yeah, that's good stuff. Um, quick story about um, – Brendan Plavik, I think I was a freshman his senior year. Um, I remember we used to run drills right. and I used to time it so I didn't have to go with him because he would do like all these passes and he would like hit people in the face with <laughs> yeah, these passes. That's right, that's right. So I would time it so I didn't have to go with him. But um, working out with them, you were able to do a lot of great things at your school. Can you talk about some of the records it is that you have there? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I put in, the one thing I could say is that I put in a lot of time, a lot of shots up in the morning and, and I just I, I gave it everything and when I look back I gave it everything I had and I ended up being the all-time leading scorer at Christian Heritage mm -hmm. and um, I don't know any other real records that I may have mm -hmm. um, but uh, it, it was exciting time those those four or five years I was there. That's good stuff there so um, after high school graduation you were blessed to be able to play in college can you talk about um, where it is you played and how and how that is? Yeah yeah I signed a, a scholar, full scholarship to Trevecca Nazarene at the NAI Division One school in Nashville, mm -hmm. and um, played there two years, and then uh, went over to play at a shorter university in Rome for two years. Uh, so it, it was a, an enjoyable time. That's good stuff. So for all the high school athletes that are here now who are looking up to you, can you talk about a little bit of the transition between high school and college? Yeah, I think the, the you know the hardest thing is it just the speed of the game picks up and. The, the night to night competition and the competition you're dealing with in practice because mm -hmm. you know when you're in high school you're if you're going to play college you're probably you're the best player on the team but everybody was the best player on yeah, their team yeah, and right. so just the size and speed and and uh, all those factors are, are, are can be can be difficult at times. So that's good stuff. So let's um, get into your first year here at um, CHS. It's like you t turned the whole program around. Maybe your face. Is it from your college coaching experience, or how were you able to do that? Well, you know, I think it, it, it wasn't just me. It was uh, the, you know the kids. The kids were hungry for something, and the parents are have been involved, and so it's kind of been an an all-in experience for us. I feel like I have great assistant coaches and you know the biggest thing for us is, is we we had to put in the time. You know, we mm -hmm. talked to our kids about earning the right to be successful and, and, and we had to change the culture. Yes, that is. Can you talk about, um, can you give a shout out to your assistant coaches that help you out on a daily yeah, basis? Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, Adam Plavik and Steve Irwin are our main main guys. Lamont Smith is our middle school coach, mm -hmm. and actually John Brown is, is is one of our middle school coaches. So all those, like I said, it's 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 all of us together working to to strive to one goal. So um, talking about that culture that you guys have with the parents, coaches, the players, can you talk about that mission or the culture that you guys have um, created there? Yeah, I mean. Uh, our first year, we, we knew we had established some really good things, but we really, you know, if somebody ought to ask, you know, what, what is the culture of Christian Heritage, I couldn't pinpoint it. Um, after th this past year, everywhere I went, they were talked about culture, culture, mm -hmm. culture, culture. And um, so we, we, we established a culture this past year that, that is built on uh, a book that I read from John Gordon. It's called The Hard Hat, and it's built on three pillars. It's built on uh, toughness. Uh, selflessness and hard work. So we're just trying to teach our kids to be mentally and physically tough in, in all aspects of their life. 
uh, teach them to think about others and teaching them to you know put in that work and mm -hmm. have that blue collar mentality that's it right there and so you're getting them ready for life after high school basketball right right mm -hmm. and that's the, the mission of our program is come as boys leave as men mm -hmm. and at the end of the day I want to be able to look at each one of my players and say He's, he's a man. He's ready, he's ready to take it on. That's good stuff right there. So um, can you talk about some of your players? Who do you have returning? Um, I know you have a pretty stout um, returning roster. We, Who do you have? We do. You know, this year we do have some experience coming back. Uh, our seniors are Nathan Brown, uh, Cal Page, Tristan Blackwell, and Wesley Hagen. Um, we're turning four, four starters from last year that started majority of the games. And uh, Cal Page, Tristan Blackwell, uh, Christian Koneman and uh, Sam Dendoffer. Yes, hey guys, if you haven't seen those guys work as an offense, offensive view, they get out and go, they fast break, it's really exciting to see. Um, so do you have your schedule set? Um, because if you haven't been to a game, these guys actually play like six, seven people, like tall players that you actually yeah. see in college. Can you talk about your, some games you have? Yeah, I mean, one of the big, biggest hurdles we have, you know, this year is, is North Cobb Christian and, and, and they, they're, they're a very well coached and very good team and uh, so that's one skip, one that you'd made on mark down you, you're going to get to see a really good basketball team play and hopefully mm -hmm. both sides and uh, you know Darlington's coming back into our league and they've always got a lot of talent and and it's a it's a really good league so uh, come on out and watch us so good so, so talking about um, talent and excitement that you guys provide um, it is exciting to see you coach as well if you haven't seen him coach, guys, um, you have to get out there. He gets up and down that court. Uh, his players hears him. Your voice is pretty distinctive. Can you talk about your style? Yeah, I mean, uh, I think my players would, would probably say that I'm that I'm crazy, and, and they, <laughs> they would probably be right. Uh, but I, I bring I, I love basketball. I love mm -hmm. playing it, and I think there's only one way to play it, and, and that's hard and everything you got. So that actually goes right into our theme this year is is juice, and it stands for just understand it's crazy energy and, oh, and that's what I want my kids to do at the end of the day I want us to play with the juice mm -hmm. that's good stuff so um, last thing you know I do a lot of Facebook trolling here that's guys right. um, I found uh, I know that you motivate the kids you're a great mentor in our community um, you know your stuff about basketball but what keeps you motivated and I think I found the answer here who are these beautiful people? Yeah. And I'm not talking about you, Coach. Yeah, I don't that's think right. You that's that. right. That's, <laughs> uh, that's, that's my family, and that, that's my wife, uh, Lonnie Beth. Uh, we call her LB. And, uh, you know, as a coach, you, you got to have that strength at home. And, you mm -hmm. know, I get up early and, and come back late some nights, and she always has my back. And then we just have our uh, firstborn, Gunner. And, um, man, he, he's already one of the boys, and I, I, I'm, I'm excited because – he gets to be around great kids and a great school and a great family. That's good stuff. So any words of motivation to the kids who want to play basketball, maybe got cut, um, or can you give it any words of motivation? Yeah, just, just never give up, you know, and keep, keep, keep working, keep playing, and, and you'll get your opportunity and um, it, it'll be in your hands. That's good stuff. Um, so kids, community, make sure you support this guy. He's building a, a big, a solid program, a hard hat program right there. Let's go out there and support him this year. How can we find your schedule or how can we um, follow you? Yeah, uh, Facebook is uh, under Tyler Watkins and then uh, Coach Watt, uh, CHS is uh, my Instagram and Twitter. Okay. So. Oh, sounds good. So let's get out there and support them. Um, and like we say, guys, let's get out there and support um, this coach at Christian Heritage High School this year. The games are pretty exciting. And coach, thank you for coming hey, by. Thanks for having me. Sounds good. So guys, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back after this commercial break.